Thank you very much for inviting me at this conference. Really, the topic of it is absolutely crucial, crucial for us, crucial for Europe 2020 and for issues we will be discussing tomorrow uh, with the ministers of education, uh, with higher education and science and innovation from Europe. We will be talking just about uh, how to transform in Europe. And, of course, I feel that these two presentations before were extremely optimistic. Somehow, I don't feel as optimistic um, as you are, but I agree that the science is changing, the media are changing, no, democracy maybe not so much. Uh, but uh, what we are really having is the incredible, because of globalization and new technologies, we have an increasing enormous amount of data and information. The question is now how to stimulate, evolve, create an innovation culture in Europe. Because science is part of a culture. We are now trying to see it as a part of economy, not only as culture. But what we are, through different means, ways, funds, discussions, we are trying to really create innovative culture. This is what in China, this is what they have. They are innovation center thinking. The question um, is that in Europe, of course, we have celebrities on Twitter, uh, but the scientists who are on Twitter, I would say, are more celebrities. celebrities. The question is uh, how to um, uh, create the spirit of innovation among the scientists. The, the spirit of openness. Uh, in many, many subcultures, maybe in many countries of uh, Europe, the closed science uh, is still perceived as a sacrum. And the spread of information, the need to communicate, the need to talk, uh, to popularize the science, is treated as a profanum of uh, high ideas science. And um, I am afraid that those who understand the need to communication with citizens um, are only few. And maybe this is how we move so slowly toward the innovative um, culture. I frequently, uh, when I talk about need to, uh, with professors, uni university researchers, about need to communicate, to open, to put on um, platforms they research, uh, they simply uh, say that they cannot speak such a language so other people will understand. So they are not going to, to do that because you need to make a special effort to use special language, to be willing to share, not only with your colleagues, because this is, of course, you want to share with your colleagues, but to share with other citizens. I agree with you totally that the bottom approach to science, the more people are not only reading, inter being interested, but also involved themselves, the more um, European innovation culture we will have. So uh, what we really need is not only to convince researchers that they want to communicate and the suggestion that they should be evaluated also on the basis of the need to communicate their research. And this is how we are changing our evaluation system in Poland to force them really to some to uh, uh, communicate, not to treat the popularization of science as something um, disgusting. So one thing is to enforce. Second, I think, as you rightly mentioned, is the education. We are starting a project opening universities to secondary schools. Uh, many uh, laboratories uh, has been built with European Union structural funds. 
Many universities are now extremely well equipped. Now it's time not to use it only by researchers and scientists, but also by school students. And this is a big program we are now testing, but we will be starting. So having these universities open for those who are interested, to stimulate the interest. And not to stimulate the interest only in the secondary school, but as quickly as it is possible in the life. So the need to change the teacher's education. If you want to have a really innovative culture, if you have to have really teachers which understand the need of openness and independent thinking, looking for solutions, uh, stimulating students to find solutions. So also the other program which we are doing right now in experimental is changing the teacher's education who will later teach children in kindergarten, primary school, secondary school. These are the beginnings, but we feel that this is ex extremely mm, uh, important and crucial. Uh, second, mm, uh, one of the programs um, which we are also involved in, because I believe that the administration has a lot of impact on those processes, and we can use well the European Union and our own money in stimulating. You, you, you cannot force, but you can stimulate. You can support. You can support those scientists who want to write about science. They are maybe in some Western countries, they are a strong and uh, important group. But in many other countries, they are really small surviving somewhere around the mm, world of important things. We have to support them uh, and to help them. Uh, we have also to initiate, uh, I would say, social campaigns on, to show people that science is attractive. We have diminishing number of young people who want to participate in science. Maybe we have celebrities, but at the same time, the uh, researchers' community is becoming older and older. This is the case in Poland. And less and less people are interested in working in universities because of, I would say, remuneration, because they find better and more interesting things they can work on. So the question is to, uh, to show to young people, not only create good conditions to young people, but also to tell them how interesting, exciting uh, is the work of scientists. That maybe curiosity is one of the crucial motives uh, in our life. Uh, so we, we are uh, starting a big social campaign on popularizing the scientist um, uh, status job. But also on TV, we are having programs to popularize research results, to tell them, to tell people about the results, but also to start different type of contests. So we are conducting a lot of contests on television uh, by our ministry, by other foundations, where people have to choose good project and try to bet for it simply to get involved. And I have to say that, yes, it's true, more and more people are interested in science, but my impression is, of course, the better the media. I would say clever media, the more interest in science because you need to show people to what, to what you need for the science, that science is useful, that science is not only a great idea, science is something useful. But I don't think we have the quality of media is increasing. So what 
On the contrary, I feel that media are less and less interested in interesting in important things, more and more interested in what this dog has done there or something like that. But maybe this is the case that the interest in science is increasing with the trust to democracy decreasing. This is the thought which came to me the other day that when I saw people discussing, becoming more and more and interested. We have a lot of initiatives on local um, communities where people can go, see, involve, play, etc. in science, that maybe people start need to trust something, and maybe science is becoming one of the actors or maybe one of the institutions where people are feeling that there is something in it that this is worth trusting, that this is stable, that this is valuable, that there is something behind. So um, you said that there is uh, the better the science, the more democracy, the more democracy, the better the science. Maybe um, the worse the democracy, the, bad, the bigger trust and uh, in science, and Poland, always the scientists were a professor was on the top of the list of trust. The politician was at the bottom of it. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yes. so uh, I really believe that the topic which is raised on the conference is absolutely crucial. And we, as an administration, politicians, need to really uh, strengthen the relation between science, uh, uh, media, and democracy. And we have such means with uh, really huge money for Horizon 2020. Thank you very much. Thank you.